Hello. In this video we're going to look at a very simple program constructed using flow code embedded. This is a device that we're going to program. It's a, a PIC device, a 18877, and this board is what we call an e-block from Matrix, uh, code BL0011. On e-blocks, the inputs and outputs of the microcontroller are presented in these connectors here. And in microcontrollers, the inputs and outputs are grouped together in bunches of eight, and they're often known uh, as a port, in this case, port A and port B. So onto the pins of the microcontroller, I've got a number of switches and LEDs, some seven segment displays, an LCD, a little potentiometer and a little light sensor. And this is a great getting started board, um, which allows you to do lots of experiments without having to wire up the components. Now you can use um, Arduino, ESP and other devices with a prototype board if you want to. So that's the hardware we've got. Um, what I'm going to do now is construct a program with flow code. I'll just put that in the bottom right hand corner. And this is flow code embedded. I'm going to choose the BL0011 as the target. And when I do that, flow code comes up. And on our 2D panel, I'm going to select as uh, a component, a bunch of LEDs. So we'll have an LED array like that. Drag that onto our panel. The connections there will select port B. So there are eight LEDs connected to port B. And you can see the chip there. Here's our commands. So what we'll do is we'll have an output to port B and we'll select an output of one. And then what we'll do is have another output on port B and we'll select again an output of zero. So that will turn port B dot zero, the lowest uh, LED on port B. It will turn it on and then it will turn it off. You can simulate that and it will run very quickly, so quickly in fact that you won't see the program. What we need to do is put a little delay in of say a second and then if we simulate that again, the LED will come off, come on, and then it'll go off again. So what we can do is we can construct um, a little bit more of a complex program. We can highlight, copy, and paste. So you can see that you're making a program that will flash that LED on and off. Now if I run it again, on the debugger, what you can do is you can slow it up so that you can see which of the icons is being executed at any particular time. So what that program does is it puts a one onto the uh, bit zero of the port and it lights that LED up, then it turns it off and then it turns it on again. What we can do then is we can add another icon called a loop. And we can add that into the program. We can drag those icons there. And this loop, what we'll do is we'll say loop for a count of five. And what that will do is we'll go around that loop five times. So if we run that now, you can see the LED is flashing. And it will do that five times. So that's our first program. What we can then do is select build and compile that to the chip. We give it a name, let's call it Flasher. And what flow code then does is it compiles the program first to C, then to hex, and then what it does is it sends it into the chip. And if we've done it right, 
what you should be able to see is you can see that the lowest LED, the right hand side there, is going to flash five times and then the program's going to stop. So that's our first program.